Hi, my name is Gauri and I'm a legal intern with Lexis and Company. Today, I'll be discussing the UN General Assembly, its purpose and its history. This is one of the six main organs of the United Nations. Its purpose is to serve as a forum for member states to discuss and coordinate on international issues, make decisions on key matters and promote international cooperation. Going in a little detail, the UNGA provides a platform for member states to engage in open discussions and debates on various global issues including peace and security, development, human rights and international law. It allows countries to express their views, present their policies and address concerns on a wide range of topics. The UNGA is responsible for making recommendations and resolutions on significant international matters. While its resolutions are non-binding, they carry political weight and serve as expressions of the world community's opinion. Resolutions cover diverse issues such as disarmament, economic development, climate change and human rights. The UNGA fosters international cooperation by providing a platform for member states to collaborate and find common solutions to global challenges. It encourages dialogue, negotiation and the building of partnerships among nations aiming to promote peace, stability and sustainable development worldwide. Now going into a little history. The UNGA was established along with the United Nations itself in 1945. Its creation was a response to the need for a representative and democratic body where all member states regardless of the size or power could participate and have an equal voice in global affairs. The UNGA's origins can be traced back to earlier international organizations like the League of Nations which had a similar assembly structure. Over the years, the UNGA has played a central role in shaping the UN's agenda and activities. It has addressed various global issues including decolonization, the Cold War, poverty, eradication, peacekeeping operations, human rights, sustainable development goals and climate change. It meets annually in regular sessions that usually begin in September and run until the following September. During these sessions, world leaders including heads of state or government deliver speeches, engage in high level discussions and participate in decision making processes. It has evolved to reflect the changing global landscape and has expanded its engagement with non-governmental organizations. Its role as a platform for multilateralism and diplomacy remains vital in advancing collective efforts to address global challenges and work towards a more peaceful and prosperous world. That brings me to the end of this video. If you have any queries, you can post them in the comment section. Thank you.